Do you know the fable of the frog and the scorpion? Mm -hmm. Well, this scorpion wants to get across the river. So he asks the frog if he'll give him a lift on his back, and the frog says, no, you'd sting me. And the scorpion says, why would I do that? Then we'd both drown. And so the frog said, oh, yes, that's true, OK. So halfway across the river, the scorpion stings the frog. And the frog says, now we're both going to die. Why did you sting me? And the scorpion says, because I'm a scorpion. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, I guess I can't change my nature. No, you're the frog. The frog? Yes. Really? Why? Well, you knew you wouldn't enjoy that meditation thing, but you went anyway to please someone else. And then you got angry, and you even feel bad about that. You're the frog. Right. Sensitive and trusting. Nothing to do with the shape. Or the throat. Oh, <laughs> the frog. <laughs> I was hoping I was the scorpion. Yeah, I thought you would. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Only because it's cooler. I love frogs. But what I mean is, no one ever says, oh, I'd like a man. I'd like him to be sort of podgy and sticky. There. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like him to be able to hang on to a leaf. <laughs> I'd no. like my man to be able to shove a worm into his mouth with his front feet. 